Megan Rapino, soccer star, and Sue Bird, basketball star, who have both benefited from Title IX, um, have signed a petition opposing the Protection of Girls and Women in Sports Act. Let me repeat that. They have signed a petition opposing the Protection of Girls and Women in Sports Acts. Here's a quote along with, there were, I think, 40 other signatures on here, a quote from that petition. We believe that gender equity in sports is critical. That's the first sentence. We believe that gender equity in sports is critical, which is why we urge policymakers to turn their attention and efforts to causes women athletes have been fighting for decades, including equal pay and into abuse and mistreatment, uneven implementation of Title IX, and a lack of access for equity of girls of color and with disabilities. Talking about uneimpl uh, uneven implementation of Title IX, does men playing in women's sports not qualify? Well, this is this is the sad part. Uh, Megan Rapinoe's done, basically. Sue Bird's on her last leg. I mean, she's as old as Larry Bird. So this isn't going to affect them mm. at all. I mean, Megan Rapino. I, I, I don't know about Sue Bird. I know Megan Rapino's gay. She's not having kids. I don't think anytime soon it's not going to affect her kids. I mean, is Are anybody they shocked they by this? They might be in a relationship together. Yeah, they, they may Are be. They? Again, I haven't read Vogue lately or whatever. But I don't know. Uh, no, again, I'm, I'm serious. I don't know. I, don't I wouldn't know. be surprised by that. You know, David, nothing surprises me nowadays with what I'm seeing. But we live in a world now where women, top-level women, are actively endangering other women and ruining all the things that women fought for before them. Megan, y'all lost to a 15-year-old boys team, all right? You're going to let men go in there and play, but it doesn't affect her anymore. She's done. It's not going to take her spot. Here's what's going to have to happen, all right? I already, I already talked about the boycott, and I don't want to spend too much time on this because it just makes you want to throw up. But what's, what will happen is, you have a lot of a lot of women in sports. Let's just call it like I see it. Are lesbians? It's called, we we see it all the time. Yeah. That's not a crazy statement to make. So they're part of this LGBTQ LMNOP HIJK TRYZ plus minus apostrophe sign That's group. All right. Sorry. I, I, percentage. Yeah. Percentage sign. Sorry. I didn't, Equal didn't sign. Mean, yeah. I had to finish it. They're part of this group. So if they go against this group. Yeah. Like they've put themselves in a horrible spot because they're not they're not gonna tell you what they really believed. You don't think Megan Rapino, she knows that men shouldn't be playing against women. But what's gonna have to happen is what's gonna be the craziest part of all this is when the men do start going over there and they start taking spots away from women, taking money away from women, including gay women, and then it's gonna put gay women against trans women. It's just so amazing. I'm happy. Dave to Chappelle this. pointed all this For out. For sure, in his they're going to put him against the each LGB other. LGB and then the. Team. They're going to put him against each other because they're going to be taking away opportunities, and that that is when you're going to see it they all think start it to won't crumble. Happen. They don't. That's see when it you're going to see it all start to crumble. When you got guys that look like like Ibrahimovic running running on the women's soccer team, taken away. Because if I'm the coach, if I'm the coach of the U.S. women's team, and you're going to let me have dudes, I'll take them. That's fine. Megan Rapino, <laughs> Megan Rapino, you run, you run a 5-4-40. Get out of here. Ooh, gross. Go do something else. Here, Jack, come here. Come here, guy that runs 4-5, that's six foot two. So I am just waiting for the moment when all these they already look like idiots, because they are idiots. But they're gonna look even dumber as if that was possible when these guys start taking spots and then they start complaining about it. Because Zach Galifianakis said something very, very smart one time. What'd he say? He said, you know what? You know, I'm not even going to say that. Mom, bring me the Oreo smoothie. I'm not smoothie. even going to say that. Bring I'm not me the Oreo say smoothie, that. Mom. So wait, now. Sue Bird and Megan Rapinoe they, are engaged. I just found it. They, yeah. They're engaged. And, and not they've been just together, in dumbassery. They've like been together in for like five years. Six yeah, years. so good. What are they going to do? They, their kids don't have to wear. How are they going to have them? They're going to just get a surrogate? They Look, won't do that. I said I don't know how long ago I said this, but sooner or later, they're going to be on the chopping block, right? Like sooner or later. Oh, it's coming. It's gonna, they're going to be at your front door. Look, one, endorsements are playing into this, obviously, if you're Megan Rapinoe. But Blaine, Sue, Blaine, Sue Megan Rapinoe and Sue Bird don't have to deal with that. No, See, no, they can I know, give, I know, no, I know. I'll but tell I, this, Megan Rapinoe and Sue Bird don't give a damn about the girls. They don't give a damn about anybody but themselves because mm -hmm. it don't affect them. No, no, I mean, not at all. It, and it's, it's ironic. At the end of the day, men are going to have to save women's sports. We're, we're going to have to sooner or later. I mean, well, what all women are coming out right now, especially the celebrity women, the, the upper echelon women in the sport, are coming out against this. Men are going to have to say, if anybody, Rapino should, should know this. I mean, they got ran on by a bunch of, their pockets got ran by a bunch of 15-year-old boys yeah, you're two who are years, not allowed to drive it without a parent. You're two years out of trick-or-treating. You got it, beat by somebody that was trick-or-treating three years ago. It has to be. It, it, there's no way deep down they, they know that men should. Oh, they know. It has to be endorsements. 
It has to be money. And the virtue signal. That's what, oh, the of course. the virtue signaling aspect of it. Yeah, of course. But it's but, Megan Rapino. She's always. And I just don't think, I don't think they think it will get to that place. Oh, wait till it does. And, you know, and it's like, you just, they can't see it coming. Look, you want to see toxic masculinity? Y'all ain't. Y'all ain't seen toxic masculinity. It's like the it's like the it's like the games it people are up in the sand saying we want Bama. Yeah, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Like you, I promise They're you. They're pretty good. You don't want Bama. Fan, you don't want them to get off that bus. No. <laughs> hey, YouTube, do us a favor. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Helps us in the algorithm and to keep dropping the content you love.